Yamandumarun, Rad you word for Are You Well? Larry Brand is my name. I'm an Aboriginal man and I come from Condobra, the centre of New South Wales. Today I'm going to talk to you about a frog called Tiddly. This is a Dreamtime story from the Radio Nation of Central New South Wales. But now I live in Canberra on Ngunnawal country and I'd like to do an acknowledgement to the Ngunnawal people. Would you like to join in with me? That'd be great, thank you. Okay, so we in Canberra would like to say thank you to the Ngunnawal people for letting us share their land. We promise to look after it, the animals and the people too. So, hello land, hello sky, hello me, hello friends. Thank you, that's very nice. Now, we tell these stories to our Burais, Radjuwerd, the children, and they listen with their wadahs, ears. Okay. In the Ballander, or you might know it as Once Upon a Time, lived a giant frog called Tiddalik. He was the biggest frog you ever seen. He was bigger than Bandar, the big red kangaroo. He was bigger than an action bus. Have you seen an action bus? Okay. He was bigger than a dinosaur. Oh, can you roar like a dinosaur? And again. Oh, that's great. One morning, in the middle of a hot summer, Tiddalik awoke with a huge thirst. Opened up his eyes and he looked around for some water. In the distance, he saw some puddles and a creek. So he decided to wobble over to the creek. Can you wobble with me? Because remember, he's got a big belly. So wobble, 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 wobble over to the creek. All right, we'll go down into the creek and the puddles. Okay. Big scoops. Because you know, he's got that big belly. He can fit lots of water in there. <coughs> Tiddalaka drank all the water. He drank down into the mud, because there's not much water in puddles. But that's okay, he just wiped it away. Then he looked around and he saw the creeks not far away. So he wobbled over to the creeks. And same thing. Oop. <laughs> wobbled over to the river. Can you come with me? Right here. Into the river. And again, he started drinking all over again. Big scoops. Oh, he was such a big frog, he could take a lot of water. There was no water left, he drank all the water in the miller. But oh, he was so pleased with himself that he decided he'd wobble back to where he came from and he'd rest under a huge tree. All the animals were most upset because Tiddalika drank all the water. Day after day they became thirstier and thirstier. No one could think of what to do. So the animals decided to go up to Tiddalik and ask him, please Tiddalik, let some water out. But Tiddalik said, no. Oh, all the animals were most upset. They didn't know what to do. Banda, the big red kangaroo, said, what got all the animals together. He said, we need to make Tiddalik give us some water, but no one can think of what to do. Guga, the goanna, the lizard, said, why don't we scare Tiddalik? He might give us some water. But Willie, the possum, said, no, we don't want to be mean. No one can think of what to do. All of a sudden, a wombat wobbled up and said, if we can make Tiddalik laugh, he said, all the water will have to come running out. All the animals said, what a good idea. Okay, let's do that. So they got together. 
Then on my music, we'll do a ballet dance. And in that ballet dance, as they spun around on one leg, they fell over into each other. All the animals laughed. <laughs> they thought it was so funny. <laughs> but no, not Tiddlewick. Didn't even smile. Next, well, you go, the dingoes. Oh, we can do a march, two by two, to the beat of the tail of the bandit, the red kangaroo. So, watch the wind, up they went. But unfortunately, the Ugays in front of them were too slow and they crashed into them. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Their nose started to bleed. <laughs> and the animals thought it was so funny. <laughs> they laughed. But they weren't impressed. <laughs> they went, ouch, ouch. <laughs> They're marpy. The quolls come together. Oh, we're very good at doing backflips, so we might do some backflips. <laughs> but unfortunately, they landed on their backs. They didn't go around fast enough. Ouch, 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 ouch. Again, the animals laughed. <laughs> they, thought, they thought it was so funny. But no, not Tiddlick. Did not even smile. Yeah. One Diella, the echidna. They have long noses and they have long tongues. Do you know they can touch their nose with their tongues? Can you do that? I can't. It's easy for them. And Tiddalik looked at him, but no. Did not even smirk. Googabara, the Googabara. Don't funny jokes. I <laughs> laughed so much. He said, what did one cow say to the other cow? Said, mm. <laughs> he fell out of the tree. <laughs> oh, poor cookabar. Oh, poor cookabar. All the animals laughed. They thought it was so funny. But no, not tootling. Then All of a sudden, one of the smallest animals amongst them, Gallandulin the eel came racing up from the creek, very upset with Tiddalik. And Tiddalik was so huge that he went up to him, he was most upset. And in his eel language, he went <laughs> He was so, so upset because Tiddalik drank all the water and he had nowhere to live. And he got roused up so much that he turned himself and he tied himself into a knot. When Tiddalik saw that, that made Tiddly to laugh. Tiddly thought it was so funny. <laughs> then he let some water out. <laughs> All the animals were pleased that Tiddly was letting the water out because he was laughing. And then, then he went, <laughs> I'm still going. And Tiddly was really my Tiddly laugh. <laughs> And all the water came running out of Tiddlick. And it was great. It filled up the puddles, the creeks, the billabongs, and the billa. It was terrific. It was overflowing. All the animals were so pleased that Tiddlick let some water out. Even Tiddlick himself was so pleased that he let some water out. And he said, I hope I'll never do that again. And was your Okay. So we tell these stories to our burrows. So when they grow up, Right. They would tell them to their blue eyes and the stories will never be lost. Thank you.